All right, y'all, we're gonna check it out again really quick. So what we have today is we're going to be showing you how to bypass your hose reel and not have to put the hose directly into the tank. Um, this is nice because you can actually stop the flow from the truck, which is really nice when the water starts to get filled up and you don't want to look like a jackass dumping water all over your customer's uh, concrete and wasting their water. Not that it really costs anything, but it's still the right thing to do. Anyway, um, so <clears throat> let me put this back out for a sec. So, um, really quick, uh, what we have here is we keep 200 feet on our uh, hose reel. So, I'll show you guys how to do this real quick. My employee's got it all tight on here. So, you know, you pull out your hose, you hook it up to the house, right? So, what we do. is we have a cam lock so we pull it out we hook it up to the house so because these hose reels have a half inch internals they restrict water also um, the 90s on here restrict a lot of water as well so what we do is we hook that side up to the house and we take this side and we hook it right on up here and then turn the water on and the water goes straight through here and right through the top of the tank and um you know we don't have to actually put it in there and the main thing is so we can turn the water off that's the main thing so you know say it gets all the way filled up to the top you just turn it off till you're done till you use it turn it back on done deal and then when you're done with the hose we like these gator locks because they actually lock on and it's nice when you got a lot of moving parts and then you can just plug her back in